Yep, yep, yep. Because right. we are right now on the draft pick between Bangladesh versus Bhutan. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. we're going straight into the banning phase right here. The draft for both these teams. And off the bat, this is, this is a pattern we've seen for yep. the past few weeks. The Marksman, right? 1-1, mm -hmm. one, one, Tricks, as well as uh, most likely the Claude as well. Yeah. So mm -hmm. many prior picks. And the fact that they are forcing all these bans allows a lot more prior heroes like the Faramis, like the Valentina to actually come out on the Land of Dawn. Know. Which is great, but also very scary to deal with. Yeah, but out of curiosity, Arashi, what do you think? If Beatrix and 1-1 one -one match up together, who gonna win on the lane? Wow, man. I think, honestly, I really think that Beatrix is a lot stronger. It just purely based off the flexibility, right? For Beatrix, it doesn't really matter what range you take your engagements on. You can go from long range, you can play for poke, you can play for all-ins with the West as package. well. Mm. Exactly. You can just have all the tools required. For as for 1-1, one -one, it's really reliant on having squishy enemies to burst down. And now, with the uh, very popular Diggy Roam strategy, yeah. the 1-1 one -one gets absolutely denied. We saw that actually uh, in a match I was casting quite recently. Mm -hmm. The 1-1 one -one just called completely shut down. And Beatrix, I guess, is just a lot more flexible. And later on, on the 20th September, one hero <laughs> got buff, Min Sitar. 1-1 one -one cannot jump again. Using his basic attack only stay on there. Yeah. That is I mean, cool. like, it's going to be very interesting later for the playoff because definitely Minsetar will be reducing the amount of picks coming from 1-1. Yep. But mm -hmm. also, it will be interesting because we will see different kind of marksmen maybe. Mm -hmm. Or maybe gold lane will have the change later to the hero that have longer range. Or maybe going back to the old mage yep. coming back to the gold lane and going physical in the because mid Because Leslie's lane. got revamped too, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's going to be used because last time we also see Lastly yeah. and it's super dope. Well, super we've crazy. heard a lot of rumors. I mean, uh, our favorite Omwawa himself has mentioned <laughs> there's potential. <laughs> and you know, he's one of the brightest minds when it comes to analysts in Indonesia. So I guess his words have some credibility. But going back to the game right now, Akai, a very strong utility pick to ensure you can get those neutral objectives. It's also countered by the Bauman ban from the side of Bhutan as well. So very competitive right now. But for the guys with the first pick, they can go for the Paquito, that flex pick. Valentina, Julian? Or they can go for the Valentina. Julian as well, all these great options. And Valentina will be the first pick for Bangladesh. Yeah, yeah because okay. IMU is very, very annoying. He yeah. can steal a lot of like ultimate from the other hero. Mm -hmm. I do the agree utility, with that. The, uh, the flexibility that he provides yep. is so good. And usually, people forget that Valentina is not very flashy, but when you look at the post-game stats, usually he, she does a lot of damage. You just don't really notice it. But also she's poke, poking, mo more into poking rather than to bursting. Right, That's why. there's no real yeah. Uh, yeah. single big moment. And but later on the middle to late game, the damage from the, like for example, the Arcan Shed or even the Shadow Strike is very, very strong. Yeah. Right, and it comes out really quick as well, mm. so you have to be careful because now for the side of Bhutan, it's the Masha and the Julian, so already shaping up to be a dive composition, mm -hmm. but Bangladesh respond by picking their gold laner first, so might be too early, and they follow it up with the Uranus. Yeah, because um, what do you think, Fela, about Clean versus, like, for example, the Julian and Masha? Because both of it have like uh, the dive uh, skills, yeah. like, for example, the Thunder Clap or even the Enhanced chain or even sword i feel like they are very confident with the clan that's why they are trying to pick it in the first thing or maybe they don't want the clan to be banned later or because they already have like two marksmen right now mm -hmm. but based on the hero that they pick at the moment i feel like this clan is they really need someone to take care of this one maybe someone tanky Ruby? that can maybe the lolita or someone i, I feel like if it's not being uh properly Secured by the rest of the player coming from Bangladesh, it's gonna be very hard. Just like what you've mentioned, the thunderclap, the Julian with the chain, especially Popol and Koopa. I mean, like the poking damage in the early stage coming from Bhutan is just like super, super strong. And I feel like they mm -hmm. are able to play early, and even the split push. What do you, what do you say? I mean, like they have Popol and Koopa. Mm -hmm. Side of that one, they have Masha. If they are picking another kind of hero that can play early, especially Ling, that can jump to the backlight into the Bangladesh, I feel like it's going to be a biggest threat right now for them. Mm, mm. Definitely. We talked about Beatrix being very, very strong. And part of why that is the case is because of the Wesker. It allows you to split push so fast. Yep. You take down turrets, you can backdoor the base. That's been a trend we've seen mm -hmm. in Indonesia in particular. Of course, we'll be talking about our region a lot here. That's mm -hmm. all we... Uh, is the 
the region we see most often. Yep. But now Popo and Koopa, it's a similar situation. And on top of that, as you mentioned, uh, the crowd control potential, it's just very, very strong. So for the set of Bhutan, they can actually play this for this pickoff composition. Of course, later on for Bangladesh, they can send the Uranus to be that sandbag. Yeah. But of course, it takes a bit more time. And now it looking is. at the bands, Atlas and uh, Grok. They Especially don't really want to get engaged on when they are going for pickoffs on one single person. Especially right now, I feel like this this Julian is still a very very flexible pick. They still can pick this Julian as the jungler. Maybe so mid lane. Um, but I feel like if there is a Uranus right there, I feel like still Lunox is still one of the best options mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to pick off. I mean, like Valentina is pretty tanky mid laner, and they have Uranus, so I feel like this Lunox still a very good one. I mean, like Julian can be the jungler; they can try to initiate and try to jump and dive into the backside. Still, with the the composition that they have right now from Bhutan, I still like. I feel sti I still feel like they are very strong at the moment. So Yif also being banned here, but I don't think Yif gonna be picked. Though by the side of Bhutan. Yep. Yeah, it's, so far we've seen it's very situational. If you want crowd control, if you want, I don't know, utility, right? To slow down mm -hmm. the teams, to keep them for a specific reason. It can be strong. So right here for Bhutan, if they want to go for the Yeeve and put the Julian in the jungle, they can set up with the real world manipulation oh, okay. and then follow it yeah. up with the yeah. empower chain as well. So that's an option they can go for. And I think for Bangladesh, they were going for a big team fight composition because that's what they seem to be uh, trying to. I don't know, deny from the side of Bhutan. Mm -hmm. But Clint is the hero who need to get the scales right yeah. now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, if they want to stop the aggressive movement from Bhutan, I think they need a <laughs> big right. AOE card control on, uh, of course, Kadita is Kadita. come to the land of down. <laughs> very oh. unrated hero. Mm. We've seen it picked very... Uh, very scarcely, but the he the players who are able to make Kadita work, they are very scary in the land of dawn. And so for Bhutan, usually it's complemented by a roamer. Yep. They can uh, supplement the wave clear, right? Mm -hmm. Because Kadita will be, be a lot more active around the map, just going for those early game ganks. And of course, in the late game, you have to be careful oh, unless yeah. uh, you want your team to get and full combo. She can come on the bush, right? Waiting yes. for the heroes who go past uh, Kadita and then do the combo wombo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also this Kadita can still go for a roamer. I, I'm not sure about this one. I mean like the the, the CC that this Kadita have is gonna be just going to be very good. And I think like Masha will be a very good frontliner with the HP bar that wow, he have. But Basha is being picked. Whoa ho ho. I still feel like Bhutan so tanky. needs someone to burst it down. Diggy. At All last right. Oh Diggy. my god. Okay. Mm. This is a strong one coming from Bangladesh actually. It's very smart here because uh. they see that Bhutan has a lot of crowd control. It seems like they want to try and combo, right? As uh, Big Brother Leos mentioned. Uh, I think Bangladesh is a uh, lack of area of effect, right? Uh, because most yeah. of the yes. heroes that they pick is single target. Exactly. So they're going to rely on actually outlasting the damage yep. with two very strong frontliners mm. and then relying on the Clint and the Valentina to output that damage. And of course, the Diggy for good measure, good poke, good... Uh, Peel essentially to uh, avoid any kind of yeah. big combo. The question is if Bangladesh are banking on going for those big team fights, Bhutan has the option of going mm -hmm. for the split push and they can just go in and out and go for those pickoffs. They can bait up the time journey with one of the ultimates from uh, one of their players and then re engage after it's down. So Bhutan has a lot more flexibility yes. in this situation. Especially on the last pick, Matilda. He can, uh, she can use the guiding wind to help the team. So most likely it's game. Don't really like it. To be honest, I don't really like the Matilda pick. I Why? feel like it's 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 lost in the sink of the of the skills coming from Bhutan. I mean like how I mean like the guiding win is mm -hmm. just gonna be very good. But is it not too expensive to just pick this Matilda in order just to get that particular skill yeah. guiding win? I mean like Circle Eagle it's not going to be really useful at this moment because I feel like they already have proper hero to dive in with the Kadita, Masha, and Julian. But without any further ado, we will just jump into the light of down to witness what is actually going to happen in the first game of Best of Five series between Bangladesh versus Bhutan. Yep, wow. um, just kind of reminder, this is the final stage of South Asia. Mm -hmm. Well, here we go. Match has just begun. And as you mentioned, Vela, there's a lot of options to dive already from the side of Bhutan. But at the same time, if they really want to try and 
I don't know, go in and out, right? Engage and then kite back away. Yeah. The guiding wind is going to be so important. It all comes down to the execution. Can they make full use of that guiding wind? Because if they don't, Bangladesh has an edge in those massive yeah. fights. And look at how annoying Diggy is because the out alarm bomb is gonna like, annoy the team so he cannot do like the farming on the lane. And about the Kadita on mid lane, what do you think, Rashi? Kadita mid lane provides a lot of wave clear already, but usually we've seen it more popular as a roamer. Yeah. Because in the end, you need to be around the map, and if you're competing in that mid lane, you're forced to lane against, uh -huh. you know, here like a Valentina, very mobile. clear the wave, right? Exactly. You get stuck in uh -oh. the lane, but already, pick up potential being used by Vita. Yep, 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 yep. And Breath of the Ocean is doesn't enough to take down the box here right now. And oh, quick draw to Ryu's one last bar on the HP. Yeah, but still going on right here. Look at the moment that is coming from Basha. Still want to go for more with the Tartar's Puissance, but not enough damage to actually execute. One player coming from Bhutan. So right now, they will re re engage again, but the just like. Oops. Proper Uranus, they're just like gonna cut the waves deep down to the side of the si of Bhutan, but Masha still can do the same thing. So I think like this kind of mirroring that happened in the bottom lane and in the XP laner is just gonna be so useful. But oh, Uranus using yep. the consecration right now to run away from this kind of condition. And this is a chance for Bhutan to get the first start on even Stripe and Wizard is already C and of course inform their team. Well, they are a pick-up composition though, so if Bangladesh goes on the right here, Freeman knock up though, and that is the burst coming in from the Katida, and Bhutan is on the hunt, but the turtle is still within their side. They're going for both things at the same time here. That might be a mistake. Ooh. Bangladesh goes for the play, but Bhutan will be able to pick it up. The so first eagle. blood as well from Den Dope. Here we go, Circling Eagle is used, but it will be the end of that engagement. Unless on the bottom side, you can still see that Uranus is still trying to make something happen. But it's a great victory for Bhutan. The kill and the turtle. Yep. Yeah, and this Uranus won't stop, you know. Look at this one. It's one versus two and he happened to hold all of the damage that is coming from Bhutan. And even taking one member from Bhutan on the side of Bangladesh. What a really good steal at the first early game. But I think it's too overextend from the Den to, to hold two heroes like that because the team is already disengaged and go back, but Marcia is still want to hold the damage. Yeah, exactly. There was really no need for that, and now already it's just an aggressive play coming in from Bhutan. It's countered by Bangladesh, so Bhutan needs to take take advantage of the mobility and they just rough wave. go for that burst. The rough wave gets the kill onto the plane, but at what cost? Valentina picks up the Kadita kill, and that will be an equal engagement for now. Cyclone I try to run. Mm -hmm. One okay. last hit. Okay. Oh my god, Stripe. You cannot do anything because Time Journey even cannot save him. Oh ho ho ho. Two and three for now in the first four minutes inside of the game right now. The difference is not too far from one to each other. Mm -hmm. Only 200 gold on the lead here from Bangladesh side. I feel like right now they have like a uh, different kind of movement here. Bhutan wants to play aggressively, try to pick off the hero coming from Bangladesh. Well, they wow. haven't tried to move all of the uh, things that they have into the objective wise, in uh, maybe in the terms of turtle or maybe in the terms of turrets, but I feel like they really need to start doing it because it's already coming to the next to the five minutes. But in the top lane right now, we're seeing some movement here. Ocean Oddity, Rock Wave, Corbett, and they will try to burst out Diggy, but running fast. Coming from Kadita right now, they will disengage this war. Yeah, one big resource is already used, but look at the Bangladesh. They don't give up. They want to steal the turtle, I think, but Enhanced Chain trying to stop the x win Circling Eagle try to hit the x win and x win is taken down. Wow, that is aggressive play from Bhutan as well, and with an advantage, they go for the turtle, and this is exactly what they need to be doing. Abusing their early game crowd control and the mobility, and taking, taking all the objectives from Bangladesh, because if they keep trading like this, and Bangladesh are able to pick up some kills, yep. they will scale better into that late game. And I think I see a little bit of miscommunication there because Diggy is already uh, do the recall to the base, and even the team is not following up the movement of the axe win on the turtle. Mm -hmm. Right now we see that the plane has no boots there. Would that be a mistake? Time journey is caught, but the circling eagle will be able to catch up. 
but Bhutan will get zoned away by four members. The pressure though is on for the side of Bhutan. But I don't think it's gonna be very easy for Bangladesh to dive in and take this turret. I mean like, look at the defense that Bhutan have at the moment. But yeah, the Dominions do it. The Dominions still try to get it. But you see in the bottom lane, the Masha doing a very good job right here, trying to all of defense, all of the movement. But you know what? This Uranus is already very tanky and for Bhutan, they really need burst damage to stop this Uranus. If not, it's just gonna be a total chaos. They're gonna be depending on the opening coming from Kadita, especially Breed of the Ocean along with the Rockways. If they are unable to do that, I think it's gonna be very hard, especially because from the side of Bangladesh, they have this time journey coming from Diggy. Well, for Bhutan though, they have two more kills, but they lost two more cards as well. This is not the ideal situation as the end of gets jumped on by four people and that will be the end of him. Some members from Bhutan trying to try and get a trade, time but Time Journey will allow them to stroll out of that situation. Bangladesh with the kill equalization and the advantage in the turret uh, turrets taken. Yep, 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 uh, yep. He's trying to go away the Bhutan right now, but Ryu. The damage is not enough. Bite and Koopa is trying to bite Wizard and Circle Eagle is connected and perfect shit. Oh ho ho ho! He will take him down with Cleans without doing anything. Ho ho ho! We are seeing actually 7 minutes game right now. The quick draw coming from this. The GS is actually is very very painful but they are unable to get it. Well, I mean, I mean like the movement that they are trying to do is not in the same thing or same same movement. I feel like they're they're playing a, a little bit like uh, lack any communication or what. They really need to adjust that as soon as possible for getting the things that they want. Uh, same thing goes to Bhutan. I mean like everything that they try to do, but in hope like we're seeing a death. I don't think this Popo Koopa will survive with two heroes that is going directly to Popo and Koopa, especially that is two tank hero, tanky mm -hmm. heroes. Yeah, the Popo and Koopa and Plane Combo did very well in stopping the early game Popo and Koopa aggression. Yeah. And you can see Bangladesh, they are the ones in control now. All the control in the riverside, in the jungles, Bangladesh, they are the ones progressing <laughs> onto Bhutan. The shoe is now on the other foot. And look, IMU is having the rough wave here, so Bhutan need to be careful when the team fight is happening because uh, the Rock Wave gonna have a big, big game. Yeah, and yeah. right now they are gonna be aiming for the turret. Not only that, we are saying actually this Matilda almost get caught, but in the front lane, we are saying the time journey is being popped. This Kadita is down, not only the Kadita, because we see actually this Juliet and also the rest of the player coming from Bhutan will be chased down by the players coming from Bangladesh. Look at this Uranus, it's unstoppable. No one actually can burst him down. No one actually can stop him. Three heroes, it doesn't matter for this wizard because this wizard will try to control it using the Consecration along with the Transcendent Ward. Bhutan has a very limited amount of damage. It's all in burst, so if it doesn't land on the right person, if the Clint does not get taken out, Bangladesh, they're content just playing it slow and ensuring that slowly but surely, Bhutan will start losing members instead. They go again right now, but is that the right time? Oh, oh. Circle Eagle is used again, and now it's still an eco situation. In Power Chain lands on two people, but the time journey is popped a bit late, but it doesn't even matter. Valentina picks up that Julian kill, and as you can see, the Uranus doesn't even care. He's taking all all the damage and Bangladesh takes one more. This Valentina just taking all of the roughways over and over again, even very hard to be shouted down. Coolius, I mean, like this moment coming from Bhutan in the I don't know what can they try to do to try to win this game. I think they need to do like back and forth game because yeah if they gonna hit Bangladesh very hard on the team fight it's gonna be hard because they have Digi like uh, Rashi mentioned before like for the time journey is very very annoying to stop all the crowd control that Bhutan have and look at the items that Digi have even the enchanted talisman so the <laughs> cooldown the mana regeneration is gonna very very strong and, and you, you have to see? remember, like the longer the game goes, the more damage the Digi is gonna do. Yeah. It's a very annoying Sixty hit stacks. Mm. in uh, in a hero. So Bhutan, they're also losing in the info gameplay because the traps will expose them. Consecration being popped by the Uranus, he will be able to just sustain from everything. But Bangladesh actually making the play to try and cut behind the turret, but no, they play for the mid side instead. Yeah. I feel like this uh, Bhutan really need penetration damage coming for the Bangladesh side, but us. Uh, 
some movement in top lane right now try to get over the player from Bhutan itself but I don't think they will go for it they will try to disengage from the war I mean like the popular Koopa doesn't even go for the Demon Hunter Sword okay or maybe the Malefic Roar yeah it's going for the Wind Talker instead of that two things that is really matter at the moment since they are fighting a very tanky hero. I mentioned Valentina but also Uranus. Don't forget this Basia that is just jumping around Tartoise Poison, a shield unity and there's as just a chaotic oh, 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 oh. Right Rough Wave is trying to get up, but it's a King Eagle trying to hit Axe Win. But look, Pendo, he needs to do the Thunderclap because Isas right now with the last bar trying to run away and got comfort. Even the Circling Eagle trying to save Dando, but look at Valentina trying to use a Shadow Strike and even the Arcane Ship. And now Wizard is in danger and he is taken down. That's what you get when you fight S1 in together. Bhutan did a very good uh, play there. They go for the pickoffs one by one. And now it's 1v3 for the last members on set of Bangladesh in the fight. Finally, Bhutan get the chance they want. They get the priority heroes, zone them away. And when the fights are not united, when it's yep. overdrawn, when the time journey has been exhausted already, that is where Bhutan has a chance to shine. That moment is what I'm talking about. Like, well, just wait for the time journey beam pop up and then do the big card control thing so they can win the team fight. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. With Bangladesh already pushing and with them having control over the jungle, that's where Bhutan has a chance. Mm -hmm. When they are trying to crack open Bhutan's base, Bhutan can just come out of nowhere in the jungle and get those flanks. Where of course Bangladesh having a front to back composition, that's the last thing they want to do. Yeah, Ooh. I mean like right now, the situation is going closer again because before the gap is quite high on the side of Bangladesh. But right now, Bhutan trying to catch up with the gold uh, and also the kills. But they really need to transfer not only the kills, not only the gold, but also the objective. Will they be able to do that? Because the first slot is actually appearing inside of the Land of Dawn. Yep. And Twilight Armor is being done by the side of Masha to prepare all of the damage that is going to be given by this flame. If Bhutan get the enhanced lore right now, I think it's gonna help to get all the objectives later. But look, Axelin is trying to go right now. Arashi has a big burst coming into the Batia, but he's just way too tanky. And now Bangladesh, they are turning it around. They try and go with the Valentina stolen breath of the ocean. And now the stun is just a bit too much to deal with. Ooh. Clint will be able to output just enough damage. He flickers forward, Ooh. goes for the kill on the Matilda yeah. as well. That will not be the kill picked up. And Bangladesh, 2-4-0 can now go for the Lord, but then though almost gets caught out. Bangladesh in still full control. Bhutan, they have to try and find yeah. something a bit more concrete, man. Yeah. Then that is late for the party. <laughs> yeah. Way too late. And yeah. look at the minion waves. I mean, like, it's still on the side of Bangladesh with three wave management that is coming really well, actually, coming from Bangladesh. I mean, like, Bhutan have ways to play uh, split push. Why they, do they don't try to do it? I mean, like, they have Masha, the best runner, inside of the land of dawn, apparently. But... They, they're just like trying to focus to get along with all of the movement that coming from Bangladesh. Bangladesh can go try to dive in, try to have like close combat situation because they have every resource that they need. They have three tanky heroes. They have this utility hero like DG, and also they also have this burst damage that is that can come from clan. So. I mean, like, Bhutan just play along with all of the strategy that's been brought by Bangladesh while Bhutan is the one that in disadvantage at that situation. Yep, and look how good Bangladesh is trying to manage their minion because an Ansai's Lord do the charge to the base bottom tower right now. Bhutan is trying Whoa. to get cover, but ooh, Rockwave trying to clean to go big pin. And oh, monster yes, kill got it. Won't work. No monster kill for the clan, and that will be Bangladesh taking the tempo, taking the fight towards Bhutan themselves. It's still a back and forth situation here, but there's no way Bhutan can get to the backside. Then Dope doing all his best to try and get to the back line, but that's a godlike for the clan and Bangladesh. They are still calm and collected. They go for the final base turret, and now they're waiting for the minion. Oh Ooh, that's a dangerous situation. That's the biggie picking up the kill, but. Bangladesh will surely be able to end this game. They're going for the kills. They're going for the end. That will be Bangladesh picking up game number one. Yeah. At that I mean, oh like. My God. I mean, like, that's, that's the thing. I was, like, mentioning, well, uh, okay, Matilda is very good. The Guiding Wind will be very, very good for the side of Bhutan, but I don't see any potential for them to try to 
uh, get something from it. I mean, like the heroes that is coming from.